Hi guys, welcome back. Just a couple things as we finish up the syllabus, and those are three policies that I think are really important. The first is the late work policy, and this is a department policy. Um, we don't take late work. It's important that if you are uh, a professional, be it teacher, librarian, you have to hit deadlines. You can't turn in grades late. You can't do things like that. And so in this class, you must also turn in assignments when they are due. They're due at midnight on the date specified. Blackboard will stay open and it will mark anything turned in after midnight as late. If I see it marked late, it gets zero points. Um, if there are extraordinary circumstances, you see I use the word dire here. If there are extraordinary circumstances, you need to contact, uh, contact me before the deadline and request an extension. And it is up to me whether or not to grant that extension. And generally, it's with some kind of grade reduction. Since I post the due dates at the very beginning of the semester, as a matter of fact, in advance of the semester, last minute hardware and software failures are not deemed as excuses for late work. So if there's a compelling reason, you need to be in touch with me. Otherwise, I don't accept late work. Time requirement for a graduate class. You need to set aside time each week for the assignments. You can see that I have the due dates scattered, that basically each week something is due. So it's important for you to kind of keep up with that. I know it's a lot of work. Nobody's saying it's not. It's for a master's degree. And so it's going to take a lot of time on your part. I know that means juggling work and juggling home, but you, if you want this degree, if you want to pass this class, it's something you have to do. And finally, it's expected that you be professional uh, in your interaction. Um, that includes not just turning in your work in a timely manner, it's also um, making sure that when you communicate with your professor, you're doing it in a professional manner as well. Um, no all caps, please. No uh, text messages with uh, all kinds of abbreviations. Please communicate clearly. Show yourself to be the professional person that you are. Those are important things to keep in mind as you take care of doing your work for this semester. The final thing that I want to share with you is the fact that you have a TK20 assignment and more of the uh, explanation on how to do it is here at LiveBinder under assignments. You're also going to find information at Blackboard, uh, but this is, um, unlike Blackboard, which occasionally goes down, this is all always kind of up and running. So here's your Reaching Youthful Readers TK20 assignment. There's also a screencast on it here. So all of these things that you need to do, you'll be able to do if you start by reading the textbook, reading the syllabus, looking at the screencasts, and the, as you have questions, jot them down, get them to me, and I will try to answer them as best I can so that you'll be successful in this class. Thanks a lot, and good luck.